<laughs> what do they taste like? <laughs> Welcome to our vlog. Today we are in Ao Nang in Krabi. We got here quite late-ish last night. We are currently staying in Blue Sottle Hotel, which is absolutely beautiful. I will insert a room tour here. Room tour. Wardrobe space, a fridge, tea and coffee. Water, we have a TV, a nice bed with more than two pillows. Door's not broken. And then we have a balcony that overlooks the pool. We've got a swim up bar. We've got a swim up bar. <laughs> <laughs> we managed to pick up a taxi from our hostel, Coco Hostel got us here for 400 baht, was to Krabi. Um, we didn't realize that they'd come, the same bus would go straight through to, to Ao Nang. So we stayed on the bus. I gave the driver some of the money to make up for it. Um, and so we got here about half past six. Went out, the, could see the sunset was gonna be really good. So we legged it down to the beach, grabbed a beer from one of the local supermarkets on the way and sat on the wall and watched the sunset which was great went out for a, a pizza because we weren't needing much which had a light, nice light pizza yeah. from Jeanette's I think it was Jeanette's really I'll insert good. it here but it was bloody yeah, good, lovely good cheap. It's the, it, everything seems a little bit cheaper here which is nice uh, and then we finally threw your horrific flip-flops in the bin and bought you some new sliders. Yeah, I got oh, some nice. sliders. I couldn't deal with my feet like slipping around in the flip flops anymore, so I got new sandals. Um, so today is, we're not gonna do too much just because we're both so tired and our ears are still playing up. For you that are new here, that don't know, Tom has an ear infection and my ears are blocked up from diving in Kotel. If you haven't watched the vlog, Go and check it out. But you can get ear stuff quite common over the uh, over the counter yeah. at pharmacies. Still need to go to the doctor. Today we are gonna, we've had a chilled morning and then we're gonna go to Ray Lai Beach just to check it out and see what it's like. But yeah, we'll see you there. Hello. Yo, so. We have come down to, literally straight out of our hotel, turn left straight down to the seafront because we're on the south side uh, where the long tail boats are. And we've booked a ticket to Tonside, which is the beach before Rayleigh. And the guy that we met at the floating bungalow said it's a really nice walk, so you can walk from one to the other. It's only 100 bar each, so 200 in total, to get there. And it was a one-way ticket only. So what we'll do is we'll go to Tonsai, we'll chill there for a bit, and then we'll walk to Rayleigh, and then we'll get the 200 return. So if you've done a return to Rayleigh, it'll be 400, whereas if we do it this way, it'll be 300, and we'll get the walk in and get to see two beaches rather than one. It's really pretty here in the day, actually. Yeah. Um, it's almost like a typical, what you expect, Thailand to look like over there. So it's pretty. What we have got to do, though, is wait for yeah. more people to come to go to Tonsai and or to Rayleigh, I don't think there's anybody. There's two others that have sat down so far, so, and two more. So we're up to six, so that's not taking, we've been here for three minutes, so that's not bad at all. Yeah, you've got to wait for eight. There we go, and it's three more. Look at that, easiest pipe, but it is, it is 11 o'clock, so kind of expected that to happen. It's a good time, I think. Sam, right, so then, let you know how it goes.
So guys, we've come here. Um, <laughs> this is so fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the way to Bailey. But it doesn't matter. Really. We're finding out. So there's loads of climbers because they're rock climbing this and abseiling. It's pretty incredible. So yeah, let's keep walking and hope for the best, I guess. <laughs> to the gym. Well, I decided I've got a cling on. <laughs> so we've came back from Riley Beach. The weather is awful, so we thought we might as well do something inside. So we got a really cool, like, moped, moped with a sidecar tuk tuk thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sweet oh, old so lady good. driving it. Oh, and we were her first customer today, and it's four o'clock. Four o'clock. So. Yeah, we're now just trying to get to the gym. Oh, good, you're a pull out game. This is my art. This is the bad side because I fucked it up. This yeah. is a good side. And she did. Well, in this light, it looks a bit bold, but. Can you see any lines in that light? Though? That's the. No, you can't. No. That's a shade. Bad. I don't think I've done too bad. That's a good job. And... However, this is the aftermath <laughs> that we are dealing with. Too much this morning. Well, no time, I've been up to really. We were going to get a taxi over early to go to the pier and have a look around there, but it was more expensive to get one taxi there than it was for one of us to get the transfer and the ferry to PP. So we may as well just wait. And we've shopped for cars instead yes. in Australia. So I've contacted a few people about cars and vans. productively instead. Yep. We collected our washing, which was at 10 o'clock. They did forget to give us our bags back, but yeah. that's fine. She rang and got it straight away. And it was only 40 baht per kilo. We paid 70 per kilo in Penyang, and then the hotel is 60 baht per item. More than that. 
That's only for like a t-shirt. 40 baht per kilo using one of the tour centers. They've got little signs outside saying what they'll do their washing for. However, if you walked another 200 meters up the road, there was one for 35. So it's yeah. worth looking around and having a shot. Oh, and then I took Piggy out for lunch. We got McDonald's. Because I thought we'd try it at least once. We'd try McDonald's and see what it's like. And it was all right. It tasted like a normal McDonald's. It was exactly what you expected. Yeah. They do nice bundles though. The meals have got bundles. So if you're a pig yeah. like me and you want nugs with your burger, <laughs> uh, it came as, as a one for an XL fries, which was monstrously big. And a uh, quarter pounder, huge litre of Coke, Coca Cola. <laughs> and six nugs. Yeah. Was probably just over a tenner. And now we're on our way to the pier. Wait and get up. we will see you then in the Monkey, so it got safe there. He even gave us a little. I don't know what that is, but ah, oh, this uh, is for our anniversary. <laughs> a nice TV, a fridge. <laughs> this is lovely. Are you peeing? Yeah. <laughs> nice. What? <laughs> I like him, that's the thing, I can't stop putting his face. Remember the bananas you used to get from Woolworths in the pick and mix tray? Oh yeah. Like foam bananas. Yeah, it tastes like that, but it's crunchy and then there's some random chocolate. But do you remember the old like <laughs> the wrapped paper chocolate like cigarettes? Yeah. The chocolate tastes like that, but the banana tastes like it's just a, my head's just gone. <laughs> Sorry. Well, like them. So on that note, we are in PP. Um, so we've just arrived. We, it was quite hectic actually to get here, to be honest. Can you um, just explain to everybody what was so hectic? Well, we were late and then we had to run and it was raining and then we were like rushing to get onto the ferry. It was just... yeah. we didn't rush. Anyway. We didn't rush, it was fine. The weather's a bit poo, so. Yeah, the weather's not great, so we're not missing much. But very commercialised already. And the whole complex, we walked 15 minutes through from the pier. We were just getting bombarded the whole way. Yeah. Bombarded, like with backpacks. I was carrying both the hand luggage bags as well. Just leave me alone for five minutes, please. I'm going somewhere. But there's so, no, but it, we wouldn't be able to get a taxi here. No, no, no. We had to walk. It was a lovely walk, it was, but it was all through. It's all walkways, isn't it? Like specific walkways. Commercial streets. Yeah. But if you're if you're a solo traveller, just like put your head down and walk. Like it's fine. They won't follow you or anything. But it's just. You get used to it. it yeah. Is what it is. It's Thailand. It's Thailand. All the businesses are competing. They all want your custom. They're desperate for yeah. your custom. Especially as it's now low season. You can't blame them. But just. Yeah. Oh, I'll right. we'll see you there. <laughs> well, we were about to go out, but this is the situation. So the poncho is going on. <laughs> Found a bar. I'm wet and happy. When you you can do that, you can get to a school pool and start warm, making your so nice. It's so nice, and it's running. We're opening three inches deep. All the way down the curve. It's quite interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh,
So today we have a full day, but we're just gonna have like more of a chill day. We're gonna go and see the two viewpoints on PP. So one is up these stairs, and then the next one you've got to walk a little bit further to. Last night we went to a fire show, then we went to Reggae Bar, which I didn't think I would like, but it's actually it wasn't too bad, was it? Oh, it's good. It's good fun. It was really. It was quite quiet though it wasn't i don't i think if it was ram packed it would be better so i've been up we've got breakfast from 7-eleven our usual our usual our first week trademark cereal and protein <laughs> shake on top of the cereal yeah <laughs> it's the same price as the milk so why not and now we're gonna go look at the viewpoints then we need to find a long tail boat later to book for tomorrow morning but we've read that maya bay could be closed for august and september yeah so that might change but we shall see but let's go get to you <laughs> decided to try and escape the crowd and walk to Long Beach which there's loads <sighs> which apparently is possible so we've just walked along like all the beaches through a few resorts and hopefully we can get there guys look how cute these are Private long tail boat and paid around 2,500 baht for a full day trip. We walked to the pier and asked one of the men stood next to his boat. He did have limited English but told us all about the islands that we could visit. Unfortunately, Maya Bay was closed for conservation for a couple of months, so we took us to Monkey Beach, Viking Cave, and a few other beautiful spots. Our top tip is to go early to escape all the crowds and get a private boat so you can leave at any time or spend longer in your favourite spots.
ghost town. It's literally a ghost town. Low tide as well. We had a little bit of a uh, a rocky start. Um, it the, was rough crossing between the islands. Yeah. Because it was windy and raining. Yeah. Um, but the driver did an incredible job. He was fantastic. But I guess they, they all do it day in, day out. That's it, yeah. And the way back was no, not much of a problem at all. And some sort of snorkeling spots. Uh, saw another shark, another black tip reef shark, yeah. baby ones. There's three of them. <laughs> um, loads of fish. Yeah, it's really pretty, but it, the weather's just shy. And the yeah. weather's just really bad. We did not pick a good day. <laughs> but it's our only day, but, yeah. so we've got no other choice. But the upside of it is it is empty. Yeah. If it was rammed with people, it, I think it would take away from it slightly. So the weather's taken away, all the busyness will take away. Yeah. So the whole the beach we had just now was entirely to ourselves. Yeah. Probably a kilometer and a half long. Never thought you'd get a beach to yourself on Peter Island. No. But it was raining. And now we're going to explore. Hi. Right. We've uh, we've just walked from the Gao Bay to Lana Bay, which as pretty as it is, and because of the side of the island it's on, it gets the brunt of the gulf, so it's, very, it's covered in litter. Yeah. Uh, multiple waves of it. There's a huge tide line at the top of the beach with litter that's been there for a very, very long time. Um, Mouldy life jackets, oh, thousands of plastic bottles, tons of fish in net. And then there's just staggered tide lines down the beach as it's dropped more in and in the water it's there's the plastic which i've not seen here yet no. in the whole of thailand i've not seen it to that degree but it's obviously not a particularly popular beach it's through quite a poor area to get to it's, it's really pretty it would be stunning if it was clean in the sun you'd have people yeah. flock in there it's yeah. really nice um but yeah it's uh, an odd walk yeah nice to see because again we can say even though the weather's not been great today and we've done this tour we can say we've seen the island. So yeah. we've been round, we can make an accurate assessment of it. And yes, don't think it's our favorite so far, but we'll debrief that later yeah. on in a different video. We're gonna go back and get on our, we're gonna find him first. I think he's directly behind us. We're gonna go get back on our boat. Monkey Beach. I think the last stop now is Monkey Beach. So we're gonna go there, but we're not hopeful because if they're wet and cold, they won't be on the beach. No. So that might be a relief for you. Be a bit disappointed for me. <laughs> but anyway, let's see how that goes. So this is the reality of Monkey Beach. Just. And if you're in PP. Come here for lunch and go to the opposite side for dinner because when I tell you it's good, it's good. <laughs> Just don't come here when we're here because we might not get a seat, so if we're here you're not allowed here. I've got on PB. <laughs> <laughs> First time we've needed sunglasses today. Mm -hmm. 